Welcome to the Noonday Meditation with Wayne Vernon. Matthew chapter 28, 16 and following. Then the disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. In our last discussion, we highlighted the fact that the disciples of Jesus Christ were commissioned to disciple the nations. That is a, a, a Herculean task that was assigned to them. So how does our Lord expect them to carry out this feat? Well, let's step back a bit. Jesus prefaced his command regarding global discipleship with the bold statement, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. This is a rather uh, heavily worked text. However, I would like for us to do a bit of a dissecting of it by paying attention to a few key words here. Authority in the text here is rather interesting. It is almost always compared with dunamis, and very sharp distinctions are often made. Some scholars, however, caution against the attempt to make too much about this distinction since there are many nuances which facilitate a wide range of meanings. Suffice it to say the word exousia, power, as used in Matthew 28, 18, it is said to mean authority, the right to use power. The King James Version uses the word authority, jurisdiction, liberty, power, right, strength. Depending on the context, it can be it can mean unrestricted sovereign, the, the unrestricted sovereignty of God, says one writer. Jesus declared that all authority has been given to me. There are several other words that we want to pay attention to before we move on. You see, the scope of his authority or the right to use power is what Jesus spoke about. However, however, he spoke about the all-encompassing nature of this right to use power. All authority, he says, passa, indicates every, all, any, the whole. This is comprehensive, all-inclusive all without exception or distinction the other thing we want to pay attention to apart from the um the the comprehensive nature of jesus's authority is the sphere of his authority not only did he say all authority but he says in heaven and on earth the whole realm it captures the whole gamut including everything nothing is excluded one writer indicates that the concept of authority is prominent in Matthew and that the entire Gospel of Matthew stresses the authority of Jesus Christ. It speaks about uh, his authority in teaching, his authority to, to exercise healing and how he had authority over Satan. Uh, and, and these are all expressed in, in Matthew. And so it is not surprising that Matthew closes his gospel with the fact that Jesus has all authority. He is speaking to a mostly Jewish audience in his gospel and it is said that Matthew is the most Jewish of all the gospels. His audience is a Jewish Christian community that has the Jewish religious uh, authority as a, its nemesis and the, you know through the pharisees 
as they're enforced as equally true is that it was overshadowed by the Roman authority. Matthew therefore declares our Lord has all authority in every human domain political, religious, or otherwise. Spiritual over Satan. He ha this authority has been given to him by the Father. And the word uh, given cannot be bypassed here because didomi means to give and its range of meanings is wide. The King James Version speaks of it as bestow or give or commit. The word is in the aorist tense which means final punctilia action it is done loved ones our lord's declaration all authority has been given to me is critical for our understanding of the great commission it does not matter if it is the roman political forces or the jewish religious establishment jesus is the only one with sovereign right to exercise power friends understand this Jesus has unique, unlimited, unrestrained, supernatural power. He has the right to power. Let's digest that today before we move on to understand this text. Should you need further instructions in these matters, please feel free to text the number 647-696-0422. And if you desire to surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, please text the word salvation to this number as well one is standing by to support you right now please remember to secure your copy of my book six practices of effective leadership on amazon either in the kindle or the hard copy form the link is provided in the description below but for this week we're going to be at the praise cathedral worship center promoting the book six practices of effective leadership at the ontario church of god regional convention we've been there since last night and it has been amazing we traveled from winnipeg to be here yesterday for the book promotion last night and we will continue for the rest of the week at the regional convention here in ontario and we look forward to seeing you come by the book table to pick up your book and to get your book signed may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with you all Amen. Thank you for listening to the Noonday Meditation with Pastor Wayne Vernon. Please forward this study to your friends, your relatives, associates, neighbors, and all those persons in your social network. If you have a prayer request, please feel free to communicate with us, and we will commit to supporting you in prayer. Until we meet again tomorrow, Shalom.